Today in Engineering Newswire, we're sending gas sensing capsules to your gut, stopping speeding projectiles with a laptop egg, and 3D printing a flowery pavilion with a unique cement. Got gas? From the top. Yeah! Got gas? Good, because it could be the canary in your gut, so to speak. Researchers from RMIT University and Monash University have developed high-tech gas sensing capsules that can gather information about the gases in your belly and send that data directly to a smartphone. Researchers say intestinal gases have been linked to conditions like colon cancer and could potentially be used as key biomarkers for assessing overall health. The lead investigator on the study says that with nearly half of Australia's population complaining of digestive problems, the technology could be a simple tool to tailor individual diets and improve digestive health. Animal trials of the technology have already demonstrated the effectiveness and safety of the capsules, which transmit data as they move through the gut to a handheld device such as a mobile phone before passing out of the body. The researchers have detailed the new technology in an article, which also describes a second novel method of analyzing intestinal gases using in vitro fermentation. Holy moly! If you need to stop a speeding projectile, but bulletproof vests are just too bulky, maybe a bulletproof laptop bag is the next best thing. The MTS Multi-Thread Shield by Force Training Institute should have you covered. Literally, it's a three-foot ballistic shield that protects against most gunfire, as well as blunt objects and edged weapons. It's a single piece of laminated Kevlar with a water-repellent ballistic nylon wrapped around it. If you need to defend against high-powered rifles, an extra insert is available, and when opened up, it turns into a hardcore 639 square inch security blanket. When it's not deflecting attacks, it folds up into a handy carrying case for a laptop, tablet, or, should you need to return fire, a handgun or a taser. Of course, it does weigh 8 pounds. Combine that with an average work laptop, and that means you'll be lugging around about 60 pounds all day. Also, it costs $900, which is considerably more expensive than most laptop cases. But what happens if a 44 Magnum round hits your Lisa Frank computer bag? It, everything in it, and everything behind it is toast. Not the case with this bad boy. Hey, baby. It appears that the next big application for 3D printing is architecture, and a team at the University of California, Berkeley, wants to take this technology to the next level. Associate Professor of Architecture Ronald Rael and his team created a freestanding pavilion called Bloom to showcase their method of 3D printed construction. Instead of extruding wet cement, which is typically the norm, Rael and his team print thin layers of unique dry cement powder. Each layer is then sprayed with water to stiffen the structure. By using an iron-free Portland cement polymer formulation that the team created, in addition to their system of 11 powder-based 3D printers, the team is able to create a more complex structure with very little waste. The pavilion is approximately 9 feet tall and has a footprint of about 12 by 12 feet, and was constructed with a total of 840 custom-made blocks connected with steel hardware. The multicolored bricks are printed with a floral pattern that allows sunlight to shine into the interior of the pavilion. The iron oxide imparts a gray color to the cement, but when it's removed, the print becomes much lighter. The project took about a year total between the designing process, building the printers, and the actual printing process. However, once this process is streamlined, this method may become the future of complex architecture. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Kaylee Duffy and this has been your Engineering Newswire. Come on, Jesus. This is the worst I've ever done. We're here to help. <laughs>